Monday the 13th. It's about 8 a.m. in Thailand. I'm going to have a look at some of the Forex markets now. Start with the US dollar. I talked last week about how the US dollar looked likely to recover, move to the upside. I think there's a lot of speculative shorts out there. I was expecting quite a squeeze last week. We did get a move higher, not as much as I expected after this big bullish engulfing candle. This is the weekly chart for the US dollar index. Not really sure why we found support around 100 82. Don't know why. I can't find a reason from a technical perspective, but obviously the economic news that came out that week did push the dollar higher. Some follow through on the upside last week. Another green candle on the weekly chart. Stochastics looking pretty positive. They've turned, pushing up at the lines, spreading out. They're indicating there's some good strength. We can see from the daily chart we were in a bull trend. This is probably just a correction in that bull trend. Now, this pattern is messy. We are in a downward sloping channel. The upper trend line for the dollar index around 103.80, 103.90. We're going to have to get through 104.00 in the dollar index for a nice clear buy signal this week. If we do, we can jump to 105.00, 105.20 quite quickly. Forex charts really are quite messy. Not easy to decipher, not very clear patterns, not very clear trends in some cases. In the Aussie dollar, we do have a clear trend, but it was confusing. With the Royal Bank of Australia last week, we did have a push higher. I think that was on Wednesday. These gains were not sustained. A big shooting star candle there, which is kind of negative. So I think this is more of a bear flag pattern. If I had to try and name it, we have broken below that trend line, although that got confusing around the beginning or middle of last week with that big green candle and then the pullback. But I think the bears are in control. I think the dollar bulls are gaining control. 50 day moving average held the downside on the first move. That comes in at 68.75, 68.7. A break below 68.70 or certainly last week's low at 68.53 should be the sell signal for this week. And we can test 200 day moving average probably quite quickly around 68.10, 68.00. Wouldn't be surprised to see us eventually get down as far as 67.60, 67.40. That would be my slightly longer term target. This is still key. The bearish engulfing candle on the weekly chart. The doji last week as we closed around the same area that we opened after probing up, probing down. That's more of a neutral candle, but I think that we will eventually see some follow through to the downside stochastics at the bottom, indicating that we will see weakness. And look, we are actually in a longer term bear trend. We had the bearish engulfing candle last week that I warned you about in the euro versus the US dollar. So no surprise at all to see further losses in the euro versus the US dollar last week. On the daily chart, we have a support level at around 106.70, 106.50. This trend line goes back to the end of November, but I think eventually we will break down. It does look quite negative for the euro versus the US dollar. I did have that as a really good support level in my reports last week, and I'm going to show you one other reason why this is a good support level when I throw some Fibonacci retracements on there. 23.6% Fib coming in at 106.80, just below the 50-day moving average and just above that three month trend line. So that was the reason why I picked that as a good support level. And it certainly worked, but longs aren't seeing a profit at the moment. And I do think we're going to break down sooner rather than later. So if you are still long, we can stop and reverse into a short position on a break down below 106.50. Cable also looking negative, not much of a pattern to go on. I'm basing this on the double top there. We've broken this trend line going back to October. We had a nice bounce to retest the trend line and the 50 day moving average. So there's a real nice sell opportunity there and we've pulled away from it. Good support, you can see that around 119.60, 119.50 from the confluence of Fibonacci levels and the 200 day moving average. That will be the key support. Break below 119.30 will be the sell signal for cable. We're getting close to a golden cross here. The 100 day moving average just turning higher and looking to break above the 200 day moving average. So it'll be interesting to see if we break below that level on price, whether it'll halt that upward move in the 100 day moving average and stop the bullish golden cross from happening. Resistance around 12180, 12200 I've already talked about. Dollar versus the Canadian, I'm not going to talk about it. Too confusing. The chart's a mess. I don't know what to do with it, so I'm not going to waste your time. New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar on the hourly chart. We had this nice bear flag, a bit like the Aussie dollar bear flag, broke down, retested it. It looks like we're going to head lower for the New Zealand dollar. We're trading below the 100 hour moving average as well. 200 hour moving average will probably act as a good resistance level if we ever bounce back up to around the 63.50, 63.60 area. But that doesn't look likely at the moment. I think the pressure is 
to the downside for the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. Bearish engulfing candle two weeks ago, a little bit of follow through on the downside. Slow stochastics at the bottom of the chart turn negative. So this all looks pretty weak. We've got some support from Fibonacci levels at around 62.80, 62.60, but I don't think it'll hold forever. Break below 62.50 should be the sell signal. Look at this double top. Nice correction through the autumn, Christmas and New Year, but this does look like a double top pattern. If we break below the neckline at 61.90, that will be another clear sell signal. It will also break a little trend line that we have in white. Can you see it? Going back to June 2022, there's trend line support. There's the 200 day moving average support down there. So 61.90, 61.80 will be another key support level for the week. We'll see again here whether the 100 day moving average starts to turn down before it gets a chance to cross above the 200 day moving average. So a lot to look out for there in the dollar pairs. I've been asked to look at Bitcoin again. It's been on the move, had a really good recovery. Is this the start of a bull trend? Are we going to 50,000, 100,000, 150,000, half a million or whatever Kathy Wood seems to think. No, we are not. This is just a nice little bounce in a bull trend. This is not a bullish pattern. I did call the market lower through the whole of this move. Nice bounce, but we tried to test the 200 week moving average. We couldn't quite get there. I think that that's a consolidation in a bear trend. And I think we're going lower. Stochastics seem to indicate that. This trend line that I've got in here goes back all the way to September 22, we broke down through it with a big red candle. So as long as we hold below 22,600, 22,650, the pressure is going to be to the downside. Look at that shooting star candle right at the peak. Boom. Once we broke that trend line down, we go. I think it's all about downside in Bitcoin. And I think this is probably forming a little bear flag consolidation here. Once we break below whatever this trend line is down here, 21,700 indicate the next leg lower for Bitcoin. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go away now and uh, record a video on yen pairs.